My name is Anne Dietrich, maiden name King. Well, <clears throat> uh, in LST in Japan, he had he had command of um, the minesweeper, an LST, and a destroyer. And the, the LST was home ported in Japan. That was early on when ships were home ported. Oh, the LST was the uh, Whitfield County. That ship it was it was a, a new experience for a naval officer who spends his career at sea trying not to run aground. But with that ship, you had to learn to drive it up on the beach, and so that was always a little hard for my husband. Uh, now they do it, it's very common uh, process. But uh, he was already out there. He, had, he, had, he was EXO in a destroyer in the Western Pacific, and uh, I was uh, in, I guess I was in, where was I? Long Beach. And the phone rang, and it was a, a detailer from the Navy Department, from Bupers, saying, Mrs. Dietrich, said, are you sitting down? And I said, no, but I will. You know, I scared me for a minute. <laughs> and I said, no, I'll sit down. And he said, well, I want to tell you I've just put orders for your husband uh, from the ship he is in to take command of an LST. It's home ported in the Western Pacific, home, home ported in Japan. So, <laughs> and that was unusual for a detailer to call an independent a wife. They didn't. They may do it now, but they certainly didn't then, usually. But that was nice of you. So I had to figure out how to get us out there, get passports and and all the children <laughs> safely to Japan. And we did. And we'd been there two days, and my husband went off with his ship again. <laughs> he, had to, he took command. It was an emergency situation. The uh, commanding officer had uh, Kanto Plains asthma which was a scary kind of thing from the bad air there, and it wasn't uncommon. And they had lost a Navy wife, so if anybody developed that, they were sent home. So he took over that ship. Oh, well, at the first, we had two tours there, and the first tour was, uh, I mean, it was all fun and wonderful, but not always easy, and uh, uh, the quarters were not wonderful. They were all jerry-built by the Army right after World War II. And, uh, but we had lots of help <laughs> because I had, I, I, you know, one day I sat in my living room on this funny old furniture. You couldn't take your own furniture. We took small things, but sure. And I looked around and said, oh, I have a maid who's in the kitchen cooking, and I have a young man outside washing the windows, and there was a woman upstairs sewing for me. And Bo was just a lieutenant commander then, I guess. And we didn't get much pay. You know, Navy pay was pretty skinny pickings then. <laughs> so I wow, this is a lap of luxury. <laughs> and it was sort of fun. And you know, we were right in with a lot of nice Navy neighbors.